Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in today. I'm excited to dive into an analysis exploring targeted economic stimulus strategies that could shape the future. But before we get started, let me quickly remind you to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming episodes where I'll be breaking down the latest policy proposals and ideas. Our topic of discussion today centers around targeted stimulus checks of $2,000 sent each month directly to low-income Americans. As the economic effects of the pandemic persist, innovative solutions must be considered to spur growth while avoiding past pitfalls. Recent research has led to some thought-provoking proposals that could revolutionize our approach. This refined strategy differs greatly from previous broad stimulus packages that distributed one-time payments to the majority of taxpayers. Studies show those earning less than a certain threshold annually have an extremely high marginal propensity for consumption, meaning they're very likely to spend funds immediately. Proponents suggest targeting these recurring checks to around 50 million low-income individuals. The estimated cost of $100 billion per year is dramatically less than the near $1 trillion spent on general programs. So in many ways, it aims to achieve similar ends through a more streamlined process. And that's not the only advantage. Data reveals just how rapidly this demographic would circulate any funds received. A staggering 80% is predicted to be spent within the first 10 days alone. That's a key distinction, as past broad distributions saw a notable portion saved rather than stimulating the economy. Of course, other macroeconomic factors like unprecedented money printing also influenced inflation. But by focusing on groups with the highest propensity to spend, the goal is quicker and more sustained boosts to demand. All without potential supply chain disruptions seen previously, historical context provides an interesting case study as well. Do you remember the 2009 initiative that sent $250 checks to fixed income beneficiaries? While smaller, it offered validating results for targeted strategies. As lawmakers consider various options moving forward, informed civic participation will be crucial. The more awareness we raise on evidence-backed solutions, the greater chances of real adoption. Be sure to share this message widely and stay engaged as policies develop. The analysis provides a thoughtful examination of the key factors to consider regarding targeted stimulus policies. By focusing resources on those with the highest predicted propensity to spend, the aim is to immediately recirculate funds and energize economic activity. Research into the marginal propensity for consumption offers valuable insights into how different income groups are likely to utilize and distribute received money. Understanding these behavioral economic trends allows for more strategic allocation of resources to maximize short-term impact. The substantially lower projected costs compared to past broad initiatives also address concerns around issues like inflation and supply chain disruptions. By avoiding the pitfalls of preceding strategies, targeted approaches may achieve stimulus goals in a more efficient manner. However, it's important to note that many complex economic variables influence overall conditions. While stimulus plays a role, other macro-level factors must also be accounted for. Continued evaluation of results from potential policy changes can offer guidance moving forward. Historical examples provide reference points for weighing targeted approaches. Ongoing data collection and analysis regarding outcomes could significantly inform legislative path selection in 2024. Engaging citizens in informed discussion around evidence-based solutions also increases the prospects for adoption of refined policies that best support economic health. As research in these areas continues developing, maintaining awareness will be crucial for weighing different options. The analysis provides a thoughtful framework for evaluating targeted stimulus strategies. While broad initiatives aim to support widespread recovery, they often lack the precision to maximize near-term economic impacts. Targeting those with the highest propensity to spend directly addresses the core goal of stimulus immediately stimulating consumer demand and business activity. By focusing on groups that research shows will circulating the majority of funds within a short period, the effects are better optimized. Of course, simplistic solutions rarely account for the complex realities of macroeconomic forces. A variety of factors influence conditions like inflation and supply chains. However, by incorporating behavioral insights into allocation decisions, Policies can be designed to directly energize business and household spending from the start. Ongoing evaluation of outcomes will also be key to refining approaches over time. 
As more data is collected on the results of potential changes, lessons learned can shape future path selections. Continuous examination allows adaptations that build on successes while addressing limitations. Engaged discussion from all sides will likewise improve the process. With awareness of alternatives raised, the case for evidence-backed solutions can be strengthened. As research in these fields continues advancing understanding, maintaining open dialogues ensures the range of perspectives informs decisions. Further research expanding on ideas presented here could help bolster the case. Additional data tracking outcomes of potential changes would aid in evaluating relative impacts over time. Outcomes could be measured against multiple benchmarks to gain a more well-rounded view. Engagement from diverse perspectives remains paramount as well. Incorporating feedback from various experts and stakeholders would strengthen iterative policy refinement. A commitment to fact-based dialogue across differences fosters the exchange of insights. Implementation would require navigating practical complexities too. Phased pilot programs may help test operational aspects before broad adoption. Close monitoring during initial rollout could provide useful lessons on real-world applications. Although economic recovery depends on coordination across many actors, the government retains a pivotal role. Elected leaders determining fiscal approaches carry great responsibility to support populations effectively, yet responsibly. Targeted stimulus options presented offer one path worthy of consideration. Continued focus on supporting the most vulnerable through difficult times remains a priority as well. Protecting at-risk communities now and in the future demands comprehensive, equitable solutions. A blend of targeted and broader policies may ultimately best serve society as a whole. While targeted stimulus shows promise, it must be paired with comprehensive supports to drive an inclusive recovery. Job training programs and small business incentives could further empower economic participation across communities. Creative place-based solutions tapping local assets and networks may also strengthen impact. Partnerships linking cash infusions with neighborhood revitalization or social services could multiply benefits. Advocating for higher minimum wages and affordable childcare options would allow more households to share in growth. When basic needs are met, consumer spending ripples through the entire economy. Increasing access to higher education can position more Americans for family-sustaining careers. From vocational programs to tuition assistance, learning opportunities uplift individuals and communities alike. Ensuring recovery prioritizes sustainability also leaves a lasting legacy. Investments in green jobs, clean infrastructure, and new industries pave the way for a vibrant, resilient future. By viewing challenges through an equity lens, policies can right historical wrongs holding some back. Targeted outreach and culturally relevant programs help ensure all citizens gain from taxpayer resources. Most importantly, meaningful recovery requires compassion. As unity and shared purpose replace division, Americans emerge from this trial more empowered and just than before. Together, with understanding and good faith, there are no limits to what can be achieved. Overall, this analysis sparks ideas to consider for a comprehensive, community-driven vision of progress. Multiple strategies working in concert can build an economy that lifts every member of society for generations to come.